Welcome back to the pavilion on the state fairgrounds of the beautiful state of New Mexico. Andres Fernandez in gold to your right, ladies and gentlemen, in the red corner. He is a young man that's already calling for Danny Romero, but he's got a lot of work to do prior to that experience. This is Rising Stars. This is where the work takes place. He'll take on Lorenzo Ensenada. Here is Mike Adams, your ring announcer. He's wearing the blue trunks with the white trim. He has a professional record of four wins, three losses, two by way of knockout. He's from Las Cruces, New Mexico, Lorenzo Ensenada. In the red corner, he's wearing the all yellow trunks. He has a professional record of 12 wins, one loss, 11 by way of knockout. He weighed in at 123 pounds. From Albuquerque, New Mexico, the current WCC Junior Federated Champion of the World. On paper, it looks like a mismatch. In reality, what do you think, Daniel? Well, you got the WBB defending uh, Bantamweight champion, Henry, here in this non-title bout, and really he's, he should be several levels above, ahead of Lorenzo Estrada, who's a tough cookie and always comes in and, and gives a good show, but uh, this should be a showcase here for Andres Fernandez, but you know, in boxing, you never know, Henry, and also Andres has to worry about the cut the reoccurring cut over the eye. So well, we'll there will be a reach advantage and a height yeah. advantage right. for Andres Fernandez. Andres has made it very vocal that he wants to go to the mountaintop and fight Danny Romero. But each and every time he comes into this ring, he has to prove that he's worthy of that experience. And originally, Henry, he was scheduled to fight Javier Suzuki Diaz from Mexico, who is an, a veteran of about 90 professional fights. Uh, that fight fell through and they had to go to Las Cruces and bring uh, Lorenzo Estrada up here on a short notice. Hello, Lorenzo Estrada in blue. Andres Fernandez in gold. Andres dazzling you right now with his footwork. Estrada very careful, quite w and very aware of the power and the boxing ability of Fernandez. And Henry, the uh, style matchup should really favor Andres Fernandez. He has the reach advantage, the height. He should have an edge in power, speed, movement. Uh, really, this opponent should be made to order. But again, Lorenzo Estrada's very game, Henry. He, he never backs down. He always comes out swinging. Well, he's having a tough time reaching his opponent here tonight. The reach advantage is significant. And he should not reach for Andres, or he will get tagged. There's a good right hand from Fernandez. Right, here's Andres working out in the corner. And he can pretty much call whatever he wants to call right now. And he's got his man in the corner, left hand, right hand combination. Fernandez very sharp early on. Estrada backs away and retaliates it just a little bit. It kind of surprised Fernandez. There's a big right hand as Fernandez chases his opponent. I think he hurt Estrada with that shot right there, backed him into the corner. And Lorenzo style, he will. He'll come out swinging out of the corner like that. Now, Andres Fernandez. He thinks big, he dreams big, he wants to perform big here tonight. So far, he is not disappointing anyone. And in a fight like this, Henry, it's not so much a, a matter of, of winning the fight, but looking impressive. He's, he's expected to look impressive, and he has to really impress the crowd here tonight. Right chopping right hand. Estrada just relying on whatever he can throw wild and maybe lucky as well. Well, he landed a kidney shot there. Andres didn't like it too much. Referee Rocky Burke right on top of things. Now look at this. Straight shots. And Estrada's in big trouble. Yeah, he Major was, trouble. He was kind of hurt, but he didn't go down. And Andres did the right thing by jumping right on him, you know. Well, I don't expect this to go much farther. No, Andres is going to hurt him to the body. And that's, a, that's the key to victory right here. I think if he jumps to that body, he'll get him out of here, Henry. Andres Fernandez, he can use both hands. Now Estrada says, okay, I'm going to give you my best. If I'm going to go, I'm going to go down swinging. And again, Henry, Andres Fernandez sending smoke signals out to Danny Romero. 
Well, at least it goes around. We will see more. I'm Andres Fernandez and Lorenzo Estrada when we come back. Not a single prognosticator has picked Lorenzo Estrada to win here tonight. I don't think even his mom picks him to win this one, Henry. <laughs> Andreas just trying to improve. Every punch he takes, every punch he gives. Estrada just wailing in the wind there. And here's a big left hand by Andres Fernandez. Estrada's right back up. Well, that's a left hand and right hand combination that hurt. Pretty much a balance shot too, Henry. The knocked him off balance, but he did go down from a shot, so that's just another knockdown. Now there you go, a little surprise for Andres. Now Andres is will retaliate. And they only get into a slugfest here. With his head down, Estrada's throwing punches. And straight, very well established punches and combinations by Andres Fernandez. And Estrada goes down. I've seen it before, Henry. Lorenzo Estrada gets back into the corner from his opponents and ends up sitting down. That's two knockdowns this round. One more, this one should be over. Well, it is a big mismatch, and you can see why. That's it. Andres Fernandez, if we had him in an interview setting right now, he would be yelling for Danny Romero. That's right, Henry. He, he, he wants him. I mean, he is out here, and that's he's trying to put the evidence out there so the jury will will demand a, a Andres Fernandez, Danny Romero fight. A short night for Lorenzo Estrada, and we'll come back and get the obvious news in one minute. It didn't last long. Fernandez looked very sharp. A mismatch from the very beginning and the obvious result. Let's go to ring announcer, Mike Adams. is a professional he works very hard he has big I dreams we will see a lot of him in the future uh, rising stars boxing will continue uh, after these messages you. 